What's up guys? Welcome back to Jeannie's channel and thanks for watching today's video. In today's video, I want to talk about dog food and what kind of diet you're putting your dog on. So last week, I went on a huge dog food haul as you can see here. Everything back here, I got them last week. Um, they are worth over $800, but don't worry, I did not pay that much. There is a local pet store that's having a clothing sale and some coupons are still effective on them. So essentially it's like sale on sale. I got all of them for roughly a little over $400, essentially 50% off, um, which is a really great deal considering what I bought. Like for example, I got a lot of those primal freeze dry nuggets. Um, to be honest, I could not afford them when they are not on sale because they're just simply too expensive to feed your dog, especially when you have a large breed. So yeah, so that's what's happening last week. I'm so excited to show you guys that. Are you ready? You ready, Jeannie? So there are three popular dog food diet out there. Uh, kibble diet, raw food diet, and fresh food diet. Jeannie has been on kibble diet for most of her life. Her very first brand was Origin from Canada, which is a pretty good brand based on like dog food reviews and stuff. Unfortunately, her stomach did not agree with that brand. When she was on it, um, she always had soft stews. She was also a puppy back then. I had no idea, so I took her to the vet like three times in the first month. Eventually, the vet was like, we couldn't find anything wrong with her. It's probably her food. Um, and they were right, it was her food. Origin is very high in protein and her stomach just doesn't agree with it. So uh, I stopped feeding her that after we finished the first bag. After that, I did some research and I found From, which is something I also bought this time. Uh, from Dog Food up until this day is my absolute favorite dry kibbles. Um, and I'm only talking about the four star grain free line because I have never tried any other line from their brand. But um, for the four star grain free line, that is my absolute favorite. Whenever Jeannie's on it, her coat is always shiny. Uh, she actually likes them and the kibbles are small. They're pretty small. So it's an all age kibble for every dog. Unlike some brands, they have like puppy lines and adult dog. The only downside of from dog food is they are quite expensive. Chewy.com used to carry them, but not anymore. So uh, right now only my local stores carry them. And if I couldn't find any sales on them, I don't really buy them anymore. It's just a little too much. Um, after that, I tried other dog food, including like Merrick, Taste of the Wild, and also the Costco brand, the Kirkland brand. Um, of all those, I also recommend the Merrick, um, the Merrick Backcountry line. So they have one called Merrick Backcountry Raw Infused Diet. That one, they have raw infused kibbles and then some freeze-dried nuggets in there. Uh, depends on the flavor. I did not know back then, but right now I've realized that that was the first time I introduced Genie to raw food because those freeze-dried nuggets, just like those ones here, they're actually raw food. So I've been trying to transition Genie to a raw food diet as well. Uh, when people think of raw food, they usually think of store-bought or um, self-prepared raw food, but not many people know that freeze-dried food are also a form of raw food. I did not know that before I did the research last week. So uh, this deal comes right in time. As you can see, I bought all of them without knowing if Jeannie would actually like them or not, but fortunately she does. So the only downside of freeze-dried food is their price pretty much. For instance, um, for instance, this little bag here, um, the duck flavor, Primal is a pretty good brand. So Primal freeze dry nuggets, the dark formula is one of their uh, more expensive meat, I guess. This one, before any sale, it is $18.99 per bag and there are 22 nuggets in there. If I want to feed Jeannie purely based on freeze dry nuggets, based on her weight, she would need to eat 18 nuggets a day and there are only 22 in there. So as you can see, if I really want to feed her all uh, freeze-dried nuggets diet, raw food in that case, 
she would pretty much eat one bag per day. And that's $20. So yeah, not everyone can afford it. So what my plan right now is I want to use them as a topper. I have been trying this for a week. So essentially it is, I will take two to three nuggets per meal and break it down and add it to her regular kibbles. And so far it's doing great. So she does not have any adverse reactions to it. Her stools are perfect. Um, and what's better, she is actually enjoying her meals now because she started to get a little picky when she gets older. Now, every time when the meal is ready, she licked the bowl empty. So yeah, I guess that's enough uh, dog food and dog diet talk. Let me just show you what I got. Hi, Dean. All right, all right, that's fine. That's fine, okay, 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 baby. <laughs> all right, so yeah, let me show you what I got. So as you can see, I uh, obviously I got a lot of a uh, primal freeze dry nuggets because that's what I mainly went there for. Um, there are different flavors. Some of them are out of stock already because of the sale, but I grabbed the rest of the flavors. There are some turkey, turkey and sardine formula. Those are chicken. The blue ones are duck. And there are some lamb. And those ones are beef. They also have some um, different kinds of meat like rabbit and deer, I think. Uh, but I have not seen them in store. So let's just try those regular flavors first for Genie. And what else I bought? Oh, and I bought this. This is also a raw kibble, but it's from a different brand. It's from Instinct. Oh no, I just grabbed it. But yeah. And then I got some greenies, dental treats. Um, I actually heard controversial things about ingredients of greenies so i only grabbed one and also because they ran out of the ones for medium-sized dog um genie is actually 45 pounds so this one might be a little too big but we'll see yes you can have it later and back here i got a lot of uh canned food so for canned food i'm i mainly um buy merrick Again, this is a bad country line that I actually really liked, the bad country line. So there are some Merrick and some Blue Wilderness. Um, those little boxes here are all from Honest Kitchen. I heard great things about them. I have never tried them. So yeah, here I am buying all of them on sale. Oh, let's hope Jeannie likes all of them. And aside from that, I also got uh, two little bags of treats from <laughs> the origin brand yeah again they are really good brands um but all their dog food are usually high in protein so i only grabbed the treats instead of um their actual dry kibble and then i bought more uh dry kibbles from those two are from and this one oof, this one is Merrick. And I also bought some Akana. So those are, uh, Akana is also a very famous brand for kibbles. Uh, again, they are on the high end side, so they are very expensive. Those are 4.5 pounds. And before sale, they're like over 20, they're like $29, I think, before sale. So yeah, um, I haven't really tried them. But there are different flavors. I mean, it doesn't hurt. So pretty much just using this opportunity to try different kinds of stuff that I have never tried before. So yeah, of everything here, the only thing that I have actually tried for Genie before are those um, cans from Merrick and those from dog food. Everything else I have to report back and see if she likes it. Yeah, so those are everything I got. I'm super excited. 
Um, yes, they are over $400, but they were over $800. So to me, I saved $400. Uh, that's the logic there. And I think I started to really fall in love with um, freeze-dried nuggets, the freeze-dried diet. And I might just keep it going for a while. Um, all those stuff here, I had a feeling it's probably gonna run out in maybe like three months time. So yes, it's definitely gonna be more expensive than what I used to pay for Jeannie's diet. But if she likes it and everything's good with it, I think I'll just keep up with it. And that's all for today's video. I will report back in future videos and let you guys know if Jeannie enjoyed those new food or not. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, hit that notification button and the thumbs up button for YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much and see you next time.